2022. Oh yeah, dude, this. Yo, you can't be wearing that, man. What the hell, dude? This package. Once said that while they were promoting One thing is that they don't really decide on what they wear, you know? It, uh, the people that give them the costumes. In fire truck, Mark came up to him one day uh, and said that he had zero confidence you know. wearing the outfit given to him by their stylist. It took Taeyong by surprise, especially since Mark isn't usually the one to say that he isn't confident in something. So much so that Taeyong even went to talk with their stylists. Taeyong then revealed that the outfits weren't that bad while on stage, but they did look out of place when they were just walking around. Netizens got into a heated debate over these outfits and wondered why more idols don't come from the stylists if they don't like their outfits. Espa. Since Espa is a group hey. that falls under the fourth generation of K-pop, you know their outfits will almost always slay. The keyword is almost because some of their outfits have left us speechless, but not in a good way. Their stylist received a lot of backlash. Wait, what's wrong with this outfit? Girls were bold it's just black. Boldly dressed in all black, which would be flattering and elegant if not for the unflattering shapes of their outfits. Although their hair was beautiful and their huh? makeup was stunning, it didn't save the outfits from ultimately becoming a disaster. Giselle's outfit was criticized for making her seem wider than she is and hiding her long legs. Winter is in her early 20s, but this outfit made her look well into her 30s. What? Espa are no Dude, what? Come on, man. Extravagant clothing, so their fans were annoyed that they dressed the girls in plain black clothing that didn't even fit them. I think it's fine, dude. Shiny, I mean, like but then again, I'm a guy. I have no sense of fashion, so I... Whatever, you know. Whoa! Before you continue, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Only about 1% of the people watching these videos are subscribed. Also, check out my Twitch and Discord down in the description. Seven during their debut days, Shiny have gone through various questionable outfits as well. The group now follows the latest fashion trends and looks chic and handsome, but the same thing can't be said about their early years. Although the looks are definitely eye-catching, there was so much going on that it made the outfits look too over the top and straight up bad. These outfits honestly could have been cute if not for the weird hats with hay that made them look a little like scarecrows. What's interesting <laughs> is that... They received hate for outfits entirely different from the ones during the early stages of their career. When Shiny released View in 2015, the concept, the song, and the styling was considered ahead of their time. And that's exactly what netizens didn't like. He once shared that because of the casual and sporty clothes that they wore, they often felt like they stood out from the crowd, especially when it was during a period in K-pop when suits were very popular. Minho wore a sleeveless top during View promotions, which is something that's he was fine. embarrassed about because many boy groups were focusing on mature concepts. He encouraged them to hold their heads up high and to remain confident and proud. It truly paid off because View has remained a huge bop for all these years. Purple Kiss. This case right here isn't clashing colors or unflattering. I think so far all these are these outfits are alright. It's just fans Shades, being, you know, a bit too serious. extra. When Purple Kiss released the sneak peeks to their 2022 season. Oh yeah, dude, this. Yo, you can't be wearing that, man. What the hell, dude? This package, one member, Nago Un, quickly came under fire for the outfit she was wearing. Clothed in a military-inspired outfit, her clothes also feature the Partai Adler insignia. Can't symbol, be wearing this, dude. A Nazi party. Netizens quickly pointed this detail out, criticizing the company for letting Go Un wear such an outfit. Their company, RBW, quickly took action and issued an apology. The company Actually, apologized yikes. for not going through with a sufficient inspection of all the costume patches on the clothing and admitted to slipping up and not doing enough historical research. Are you trying to be more conscious of your waist and be a lot more sustainable Wait, wherever you sponsor? can? I know I have. And since using Native, I feel so good with cruelty cases with spritz. Too. Check out Song 11. The group stylists faced a lot of criticism for an outfit that they had for Eugene. Overall, there were several things that the netizens didn't like about the look. The main thing they pointed out was the obvious bralette look she was given. While bralettes can be styled elegantly and appropriately, Eugene was practically given a bra. Netizens also claimed that the skirt was too flared and it exposed more than it should have. The main problem of this uh -huh. whole thing is Eugene's age. When they were promoting 11, Eugene was still a minor and the stylist thought oh, that it damn. would be a good idea to put a bra on her. Her. For netizens, it didn't matter that Eugene had a t-shirt underneath, it still was unflattering and it made Eugene the center of attention for all the wrong reasons. Twice, Julian has been through a lot over these past years and her stylist didn't make it any easier for her. Since Julian took a hiatus to focus on her health, it led to her gaining some weight because of her medication. Of course, this is completely fine, but the outfits she was given after she came back were not. The stylist did a really bad job styling her. While the other girls were styled in dresses and suits and the look 
looks were overall cohesive, Jungmyung's look was deemed ugly by Wonsis because it was weirdly asymmetrical and the wide belt looked out of place. Some fans also claim that she's always been the one to receive the ugliest outfits out of all the members. When Twice were on their Feel Special tour in 2019, Jungmyung wore what fans call the pillowcase outfit. It looked like it was put together <laughs> with zero effort. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, I feel bad for her. That actually looks terrible. Much like it has been happening with Jungyeon, Lisa from Blackpink has experienced the same thing a couple of times too. She keeps on receiving questionable outfits as well that don't seem to fit in with the other members. When Blackpink held their first online concert, the girls, apart from Lisa, were wearing cohesive outfits that seemed to be within one style. Lisa, on the other hand, stuck out like a sore thumb. Her outfit was out of place and it wasn't flattering either. The green also clashed with the white, gray, and red outfits that the other girls were wearing. Some blinks even compared it to a cabbage. When the girls promoted do 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 in 2018, Lisa's stage outfit drew attention for all the bad reasons. She wore an oversized pink jumpsuit, and oversized clothes can be styled to look great, but um, this thing was just too big. On yeah, her. that the looks black terrible. Belt didn't save the outfit at all, and this outfit was just a disaster <laughs> through and through. 21. Throughout the years, 21 have been titled as one of the most legendary K pop groups who were never afraid to try something new, be it the music genres or the hairstyles, but the most memorable thing is definitely their early fashion. No matter which picture you see, you'll always see These crazy cool. highlights, bright, bold colors, and various patterns and shapes. Over the top accessories were never missing from their outfits. Back then, this was considered trendy and new, but looking at it now, some of the outfits are just. Okay, dude, what was that? <laughs> was considered trendy and new, but looking at it, <laughs> freaking pineapple hair. Now, some of the outfits are just horrible. They make no sense, and sometimes they're not even flattering on the girls. I mean, yeah, they don't Although really make sense. Although have received some criticism for their early outfits, sometimes some netizens claim that their early fashion was iconic and ahead of its time. Six Bomb. Six Bomb attracted the most attention in 2016 when they appeared in tight pink latex bodysuits during one of their performances. Their fans and netizens quickly nicknamed the skin tight outfit "Pink Sausage," calling it different and very racy. However, this outfit was quickly <laughs> deemed inappropriate sausage. for public broadcasting, which was disappointing oh to their God. agency since it was a custom order from overseas. Maybe if the stylist added a few accessories to the outfits or added a jacket or a skirt, the girls would have shown it off on broadcast and the netizens wouldn't be so scandalized. Red Velvet. When Red Velvet performed at the 2018 KBO Golden Glove Awards, their fans absolutely loved the performance, which according to them, could have been better if the members wore different outfits. To deliver a great show of the song Bad Boy, the girls wore a variety of outfits in bold colors and outfits. While the fans loved Yeti and Irene's outfits that fit perfectly with the vibe of the song, they weren't so sure what to think about Sulgi's and Joy's outfits. Netizens agreed that the patterned pants reminded them of what Korean grandmas wear, and others thought that it was too casual for the stage. One netizen <laughs> oh my commented, God. why are they dressing like Atumas who just got back from digging muscles at the store? What even are those pants? There were some who thought that the outfits weren't horrible, but I mean, you're fine. That it wasn't great. Jung Kun -so, both it's not amazing, singer, but it's Jung not -so bad. Was hugely successful in the early 2000s and 2010s. Those years, of course, reflected on his fashion, which was sometimes questionable to say at least. Like this outfit he wore during his travels. The rip okay, that's terrible. The <laughs> okay, a what the hell? Unlike that? the others, but it is something that was considered trendy and fashionable back then. If he wore it today, it's guaranteed that the netizens wouldn't be easy on him. While this outfit was widely praised and everybody loved it, another outfit that what? is much more acceptable today sent a lot of hate his way. When Goon Sok appeared in a plain white t-shirt and shorts, netizens nearly ate him up in the comments. His fans didn't like him wearing casual and comfortable clothes as they preferred seeing him in something glamorous and slightly over the top. Dude, it that like sucks. If... What if you're just like a K-pop star you just want to wear whatever the fuck you want to wear? switched over the years as simplicity is really in trend right now. That's it for today. Which of these... That are was the interesting. I think they're all right except for that one that's just wore the nasty outfit but thank you for watching this video and also thank you very much to all of my supporters over at patreon if you'd like to see these videos earlier head on to patreon and if you want to see more videos click the videos here and here for more videos from me